The bats finally came alive on Thursday. Hi and welcome to the Friday edition of the Daily Sports Update here on CBSSports.com. Pitching dominated the first day of the postseason as the Aces took the hill and shut down opposing offenses. Only 14 runs in total were scored Wednesday, but then again, two of the most potent lineups had the day off. The Yankees lineup is filled with postseason experience from top to bottom. Damon, Jeter, Rodriguez, Giambi, Matsui, Posada, etc. All have been there before, why the AL Central champion Indians are relative newcomers. And when New York got out to a 1-0 lead after a leadoff home run by Johnny Damon, one would expect the relatively inexperienced Indians to panic. But... The Tribe does have some valuable experience hit in their lineup in Kenny Lofton. Lofton has played in 11 of the last 13 postseasons and two World Series, including in 1995 with Cleveland. And it was Lofton's two RBI single in the first that gave the Indians a 3-1 lead that they would never relinquish. Lofton had four RBI. Victor Martinez and Azdrubal Cabrera both homered as the Indians got to the Yankees' ace and Chin-Ming Wong for eight earned runs on only four and two-thirds innings. CeCe Zabathia was a bit shaky as he walked six in only five innings, but Cleveland provided enough offense for the lefty to pick up his second postseason win. As for Alex Rodriguez in the postseason, the Indians took his bat out of his hands, walking him twice. You don't have to have a whole lot of experience to understand that the game hasn't changed, and that's what I've been talking to the guys about it is just go out there and, and just play the game of baseball, and I think you know, getting the game under their belt is going to help them out a lot. The wins just keep on rolling for the Colorado Rockies. Of course, they won 14 out of 15 just to make the playoffs, but they've also taken the first two from the Phillies to get within a game of the NLCS. Kaz Matsui came within a single of the cycle as he blasted his first postseason home run and drove in five in Colorado's 10-5 win over the Phillies. The Phillies couldn't take care of home field advantage, but the D-backs sure could as they beat the Cubs for the second straight night, this time 8-4 for the 2-0 series lead. All the high-priced talent in the, is in the Cubs dugout, but it's the youngsters in Arizona that are earning their keep right now as rookie Chris Young hit a three-run homer in the second to give the D-backs the lead for good, and Stephen Drew tripled into more for insurance. Just three years ago, the D-backs lost 111 games, and now they're just one win away from the NLCS. The NFL's leading rusher is trying not to miss the rest of the season. Newsday reported on Thursday that Travis Henry is trying to prevent the NFL from suspending him over the results of a drug test. In September of 2005, Henry was suspended for four games for testing positive to marijuana, and another positive test would mean a year-long suspension. Henry signed a five-year, $22.5 million contract this offseason as a free agent with the Broncos. In the college ranks, a huge SEC East battle between a couple unusual suspects played out Thursday night as Steve Spurrier's South Carolina Gamecocks knocked off the eighth-ranked Kentucky Wildcats. Defensive end Eric Norwood scored two touchdowns on fumble recoveries as the opportunistic Carolina defense got the best of Heisman candidate Andre Woodson and the Kentucky offense. All six teams in the SEC East now have exactly one conference loss, so it's anybody's division at this point still. In another doping scandal, this again in track and field, three-time Olympic gold medalist Marion Jones admitted to using steroids, the Washington Post reported on Thursday. Jones has denied cheating for the past seven years since her triumphs at the 2000 Games in Sydney. But today, she'll be in court in pleading guilty to charges in connection with steroid use. She faces up to six months in jail and also could lose the five medals she won in Sydney. That'll do it for the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. Keep your mouths right here. CBSSports.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. And if you missed anything here today, stop, refresh, and rewatch. I'm Amber Wilson. Have a great day.